Summers and Friends, based on the Railway Series by Reverend W. Audrey, created by Britt Allcroft, read by Mark Moran. Welcome to the Island of Sodor, a small magical island surrounded by sparkling bright blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches, castles to explore and bustling docks where giant cranes lift and load cargo from large ships. There are also lots and lots of railway lines, where engines work hard to deliver goods and passengers to their destinations. Today's story is about Thomas the Tank Engine, a small blue engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy boiler, a short stumpy dome, and a short stumpy funnel. He was not the biggest engine on Sodor, but had a big heart and wanted to prove what a really useful engine he could be. Thomas's job was to fetch coaches and goods trains for the big engines. But Thomas dreamed of pulling his own coaches on his very own little branch line. Thomas was a cheeky little engine. One day, he found Gordon, the big blue engine, resting on a siding and thought it would be fun to play a trick on him. Peep, peep, whistled Thomas loudly. Wake up, lazy bones. Do some hard work for a change. Gordon woke up startled. He decided to teach little Thomas a lesson. The next morning, Thomas pushed Gordon's coaches into the station as usual. Gordon called for his passengers to get on board. The signal went down and the guard waved his green flag. But Gordon started so quickly, they forgot to uncouple Thomas from the back of the train. Faster and faster they went as Gordon raced out of the station. Stop! Stop! cried Thomas. Soon, poor Thomas was going faster than he had ever gone before. At last, they stopped at the station. Well, little Thomas, chuckled Gordon, now you know what hard work is, don't you? And from that day on, Thomas was careful never to be cheeky to Gordon again. One day, a kind little engine called Edward let Thomas take his cars to the goods yard. Edward warned Thomas to be careful. Cars can be tricky, he said, but Thomas didn't listen. Before long, Thomas found himself being pushed down the hill by the cars. Thomas swerved into the goods yard and just managed to stop right in front of Sir Topham Hatt. You've got a lot to learn about cars, little Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas felt very silly. He wondered if he'd ever get his branch line now. <coughs> On a siding by themselves were some cars that Edward told Thomas he mustn't touch. These were the breakdown train. They were only used if there was a breakdown or accident. Thomas was in the yard one day when he heard an engine whistling. <coughs> Help! Then James came rushing through the yard, much too fast and out of control. His cars were pushing him faster and faster. On, 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 they laughed. Then James and the cars disappeared under a bridge. I'd like to teach those cars a lesson, thought Thomas. Then a man ran towards him. James is off the line. Get the breakdown train quickly, he shouted. This time, Thomas listened carefully and raced as quickly as he could to get the breakdown train and take it to the crash site. They found poor James lying on his side in a field with a cow looking at him. Thomas and the two cranes on the breakdown train pulled with all their might to get James back up and onto the rails. Back at the sheds, Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for Thomas. I've heard all about how you rescued James. What a really useful engine you've been, he told Thomas. You shall have a branch line all to yourself. So now, Thomas is as happy as can be and puffs proudly backwards and forwards all day with his very own coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. <coughs> the end. 
Listen out for other adventures with Thomas and Friends Storytime. Thomas and Friends is a registered trademark of Ghislaine Thomas Limited.